Hello everyone. Today in this post we are going to talk about principle of homogeneity. We know in physics we write equations. Something like displacement equation s equal to ut plus half at square. Velocity equation v equal to u plus at. If you check the dimensions of the LHS side of the equation, LHS is nothing but velocity. Velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement, length by time. Its dimension is lt power minus 1. Let us have a look at the dimensions of RHS. RHS is a combination of two physical quantities, two letters or two terms. U is again a velocity, L by t or lt power minus 1. There is another term in RHS EAT, A is acceleration. Acceleration means velocity by time. Velocity is length by time. Therefore, acceleration will become L by t square. And t, that's nothing but equal to lt power minus 1. So, if you add two terms of the RHS, u plus at, lt power minus 1 and lt power minus 1. Be careful here that I am not making a mathematical addition to write it like lt power minus 1 and lt power minus 1 as 2 lt power minus 1. I simply write lt, LT power minus 1. I mean to say that I have added two velocities, I will get another velocity. Let the magnitude be different, let it be higher, lower, that is not a problem. I simply mean to say I am adding one velocity with other velocity and I have got one more velocity. So it is very clear from this, if you look at the dimensions of LHS, it is lt power minus 1. If you look at the dimensions of RHS, lt power minus 1. So, I can write dimensions of LHS is equal to dimensions of RHS. This principle of dimensions of LHS of a physical equation in physics is equal to the dimensions of RHS in an equation is called as principle of homogeneity principle of homogeneity so principle of homogeneity simply tells you that uh, when you write a physics equation the dimensions of the lhs of the equation the dimensional formula of the lhs of the equation equal to the dimensions of the rhs of the equation it simply tells you that you can add physical quantities of similar nature it's very clear right you can add one velocity with one more velocity, I will get velocity. By adding velocity to another acceleration, that becomes a meaningless. I cannot add sugar with rice, I won't get something productive. 1 kg of the sugar plus 2 kg of the sugar is 3 kg of the sugar. 1 kg of the sugar plus 2 kg of the water, nothing. It's neither sugar nor water. So that shall not be, a, that's not a meaningful way of adding a physical quantities. So, according to units and dimensions, according to principle of homogeneity, any physical equation, any physics equation is said to be correct when its dimensional formula along LHS is equal to the dimensional formula along the RHS. That principle is called something like a principle of homogeneity. This equation, this tells you principle of homogeneity only checks whether the equation is dimensionally correct or not. Say for example, if I have written the same equation, V equal to V equal to U plus half A T. Still, this rule is valid that the dimensions of LHS is equal to the dimensions of RHS because half is a number which do not have any dimensions. So, this is still dimensionally correct. This equation is dimensionally correct but not scientifically correct, but not scientifically correct, but not correct as per the physics rules. So, be careful that uh, every dimensionally correct equation is correct in terms of physics. And you also know very clearly now that uh, any physical equation, any physics equation that is wrong with respect to the dimensional formula is obviously wrong in terms of the science also. So, the prior condition, the basic condition for any equation 
to become scientifically correct is it has to be first of all correct as per the dimensions and dimensional formulas. So, any physics equation I want to underline any physics equation first shall be correct with respect to dimensions. Further, it has to satisfy the rules of the science then it will become scientifically correct. But any equation that is wrong with respect to the dimensional analysis itself is going to be wrong even with respect to physics also. So, principle of homogeneity is a basic condition that has to be satisfied so that the equation become scientifically correct. This is called principle of homogeneity. Thank you.